Hey everybody, welcome back to Tammy Talks. We are here to talk season 13, episode 10 of Married at First Sight, um, Locked Out. Let's get right into Michaela and Zach. If you have not, if you have not, Lord, if you have not already, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Um, thumbs up the video. Be sure to leave some comments on your way out so we can talk about how you guys felt about the episode. So, Zach bailed on movie night and decided to sleep at his place. So after, so last week after we saw Zach and Michaela go out for drinks that night, they were supposed to go home and have like a movie night to just kind of chill, decompress, cuddle, whatever. Zach said he was going to his house to get the Apple TV so that they could um, pick a movie. He said when he got to his house, he felt that it was late. So he decided to just stay on at his house and go to sleep. That's bullshit. Um, because there's no reason why you couldn't just come back home to your wife and go to sleep. You know what I mean? That's weird. That's like saying, you know, I'm about to head out to drop something off over, um, a friend's house and then being like, it's late. I'm just going ahead and stay tonight. No, like you can go back home. So, but he said he did like how Michaela handled it. She expressed that, you know, she was disappointed, but. She didn't fly off the deep handle. I probably would have cussed him out because it's like, why did you leave anyways to go get the Apple TV? Why can't we just find something that's on TV here at the house to watch? Why didn't you bring your um, Apple TV with you when you moved? That just seemed like a cap out to me. Um, and we know that Zach is not feeling Michaela and that's really what, probably why he stayed away. So Dr. Viviana comes to visit and... They have a conversation about trust, and Michaela said that she only trusts Zach 50%, 5-0. He is offended. He's offended, and he's like, well, why? And she said that it's because, you know, he, even though she makes, she messes up, whenever she apologizes, like, he holds on to it. Zach said that he is scarred by her behavior. And Dr. Viviana was like, what, what are you talking about? And Zach is saying that every time Michaela does something, he doesn't can, he doesn't see it as an issue or a problem. It's just who she is. He does not like he does not like the way she handles conflict. So as a result of that, it's like weighing on him. And it's kind of like you gonna have to get over it. You know what I mean? If you don't like the way that she handles conflict, then divorce her. Be done with it. But for you to keep saying you want to make it work, but you're harping on something that happened, you know, a couple of weeks ago, get over it. So she even asked him, like, what have I done? I'm trying to work on myself. I'm trying to change. And Zach is like, you haven't done anything wrong. And Dr. Viviana was like, well, yeah, what, what she did was wrong. Because Dr. Viviana said, you know, we, we see what goes on. We watch the tapes. That's what she was basically saying. And so, like, if Michaela can say how I reacted was wrong, Dr. Viviana is saying what she did is wrong. Zach won't say what she did was wrong, and that's because Zach is trying to portray himself as the wholesome good guy on TV. He doesn't really want to say, you know, I think you messed up, Michaela, because of this, that, and the other. He wants to come across as the docile gentleman who is trying to, you know, he's trying to cry victim, to be real. So he keeps harping on her outbursts and outbursts and outbursts. And Zach is like talking in circles because on one hand, you're saying that she hasn't done anything wrong. On the other hand, you're saying that you can't, you can't get down with the way that she has, the way that she handles conflict. Her outbursts are what bothers her. And you keep saying that that's just fundamentally we have differences. But it's like, but you're harping on something that she's already apologized for and y'all wanted to move on for. Now, last week, I felt that uh, Michaela wanted to just move on from stuff a little too quickly. I'm on, I'm on her side this week. Now, I'm not going to keep apologizing for something over and over and over and over. Either you're going to take this apology or you're not going to take this apology. And that's just really going to be it. That's really just going to be it, but we're not going to, I'm not going to go back and forth where I'm like constantly trying to appease you because Zach feels like he has to walk on eggshells around, around Michaela when like she has to do the same around you to be real. So Dr. Viviana leaves and she, oh, Dr. Viviana tells Zach that's a lack of commitment 
to the relationship because you're not looking to the future with it. You're trying to hold on to the past because you don't like a a a character flaw, I guess I'll say. You don't like a character flaw that she has that she's trying to work through. So when Dr. Viviana leaves, Zach gets up from the couch, goes into like the dining room and sits at the table and I'd be damned if he started crying. <laughs> Zach cries so much. So Zach starts crying and Michaela comes over and she's like, you know, she doesn't say anything. She's not pressing him. She kind of tried to give him a comfort circle on the back. He's like, don't touch me, don't touch me. And he's over there crying because he said he does not understand what he is doing wrong in the relationship. And Michaela said, oh yeah, I can tell you. The, what you're doing is that you are holding this against me, this indiscretion against me, and you're not moving past it. You're not giving me a chance to grow. You're not seeing me for who I am right now. And Zach is like, you are killing me. You are literally killing me right now. This is killing me. I can't do it. It's killing me. It's killing me. And it's like, are you having a panic attack? What is going on? He's crying about how much he wanted this to work. And I'm like, girl, Zach, save them crocodile tears because you're doing a lot right now to make yourself seem like a victim when you are gaslighting her. You are gaslighting the F out of Michaela, trying to make yourself seem like you're being so victimized and you're being, I don't know, emotionally abused so that it's easier for you to walk away on decision day. Because like we keep saying, Zach was turned off from that very first reaction to how she, um, very first, re um, very first, yeah, reaction to him leaving and not telling her that he was home. And then he's like hanging on that, hanging on that. And from that moment, he like, he stopped being attracted to her. So they had like a little date. He took her to a friend. He said a friend of, um, a friend of the family's house that has like a nice swimming pool and stuff. And for one of their exercises, they have to write up questions for the other, call it the blind truth. And they have to, the one answering the questions has to be blindfolded because they say, if you know, if you can't see the person you're talking to, you're more than likely to give um, a more honest truth. So, so um, two of the questions that Michaela asked was, no, that Zach asked Michaela, what are you, what were you attracted to first when you saw me? She said his face. And then he asked, what would you change about me? And she said the fact that you hold on to grudges. You hold on, you know, you don't let stuff go. And Zach was like, you're saying I can't, I hold on to grudges? Okay. Uh, uh, okay. Okay. Sure. And I was like, why are you... Why are you doing that? So, like, why are you being, like, why are you so shocked? You do hold on to grudges, my guy. You're holding on to the same grudge from the beginning. And then Zach, when Zach was um, blindfolded, Michaela asked him, do you like me for me? Which I feel is a very justified question and a very smart question on her behalf. Because she wants to know, like, for a while, or the way it comes across now, I, she can't tell if Zach likes her. And it's because he talks about her personality. When you say that somebody has a fundamental difference than you, that means that that is something that you believe is embedded and engraved in them. You don't think that that is going to change. You don't. And Michaela just kind of feels like I am trying to change. I, I, I took what your friend said about your personality. I'm working on it. I took what Dr. Um, or Pastor Cal said, and I'm working on it. I hear everything you are saying, and I'm trying to change, but you only see me for what I was and not what I'm trying to be. And then Zach is like, are you you're asking if I like you? Well, yeah, that's the question. That's the question. It's a yes or no. Do you like her for who she is right now, or do you not like her because of who she is? And Zach was like, well, I've told you from the beginning that I, I, I like you. And like, I feel like he's stuttering. And as usual, he's like talking in circles because he's too, he doesn't want to give the wrong TV answer. 
That is not going to give the wrong answer, the wrong TV answer. He wants to come across on TV as perfect Zach, the good guy, the boy next door, you know, the guy you take home to mom. He wants to come across as that. And he's content with letting Michaela come across as the angry black woman stereotype, the, the woman who just can't handle herself. He's content with letting her be looked at in that light instead of trying to meet her where she's at. So he eventually is like, yeah, I, I liked you on the honeymoon and I like you now. And it's like, I don't believe him. So then Michaela asks, do you see a future for us? And Zach says, well, he likes her. It's doubtful. And I said, damn. <laughs> damn. So, Michaela is just saying how, like, it hurts that she sees a future for them and she wants to work towards the future. And Zach, so, you know, quickly and casually said no. And that's, again, make Michaela, like, a lot of this is because of your previous actions. But a lot of this is just something with Zach. Zach is immature. Zach um, is not ready to grow up. Zach does not need to be married. Zach is looking for someone who is a perfect version of a woman that's set in a box. And because Michaela has stepped outside that box at that one time when, you know, she assaulted the Clorox wipes, when she stepped outside of that box, that was it for Zach. That was it. He gave her one chance and... She failed that one test. And like Dr. Viviana also told him, like, why do you expect her to be perfect when you're not perfect? And Zach didn't have an answer to that. Because in Zach's mind, I think he thinks he's perfect. So he didn't have an answer to that. So instead of him, like, you know, giving an answer to that, he sat there and just kind of like stewed in his own wallowing in his own grief and that's when we saw him get up and do the whole walk away crying situation because dr viviana called him out you're not perfect yourself so why do you expect her to be perfect why do any of them come into these these marriages expecting for them to get a perfect match this happened what three times on here <laughs> three so um i mean obviously they're not gonna last obviously. But I'm Tammy. Um, on your way out, drop some comments. Let me know if you guys think that Zach is holding the grudge or is he is justified in how he feels about their marriage and about Michaela's actions thus far. Check y'all later.